So if you've ever wondered, oh Steph, what do you do when there's no trees? Well, basically right now, I'm on the side of a mountain. So I'm literally running a footpath, so I think I'm probably just gonna pack up soon and yeah, clear up so that you know I'm not in the way of people who actually wanna walk. <laughs> oh, here comes a walker. Morning, mind your way. Do you know what, um, what's this place called? What do you mean, this one? Mm. Drivan. Drivan. Yeah, I haven't been up this way for about 20 years, so oh, it's brilliant. a change. I'm not sure of the way, actually. Apparently this place is called Drivan. This mountain is called Drivan. I walked up here last night, just parked. There's a road down there, you can probably hear it. It just looked amazing last night. It was kind of misty, but also the moon was out, and so I could see the silhouette of all the mountains. and. Oh man, it's absolutely amazing. And so I just kind of parked and I was like, there must be somewhere I can hammock. And yeah, I found this place and it's great. It's really, really good. I mean, I'm pretty close to the ground here, but you know, it's all good stuff. But yeah, the thing I feel really pleased about actually is this top, just completely kind of parallel to the angle of the mountain. That is the view I woke up to. So the other hilarious thing is that I brought my uh, work bag. In here is my like my hard drives and my laptop and stuff. Yeah, last night I kind of set up and then I, I just sat in my hammock for like an hour or so. Trying to finish editing episode seven, I think it was. I basically just worked until my laptop ran out of battery. So I'm just gonna get changed and get out of this hammock so I can show you the setup properly. There it is. <laughs> That's where I slept last night. Pretty cozy. So yeah, don't always have to sleep in the forest. It's not really a tree in sight. So uh, let me just quickly show you then properly the old setup. So um, here just attached up against the post of this kind of ladder. And on this side, this was the side that was a bit more dodged because this rock here, when I tried to tie the Siberian hitch, because the Siberian hitch is a slip knot, it would slip and then it would slip off it. And I was like, oh no, this isn't gonna work. And so instead I tied a bowline and then just like anchored that across and then obviously like the tension of it keeps it on there. Actually worked really, really well. The tarp's like kind of touching the rock there. And then, obviously up here, it's got like this dry stone wall. Because this is just for my tarp and it's not load bearing, like it doesn't have to carry my weight. I was happy just to wrap it around some of these rocks, but these are all like, they're heavy, but they're just kind of loose rocks. Now the problem is, I need to not get too distracted. I mean, you know, I'd absolutely love to just climb this mountain, get to the top, but I've actually got loads of work to catch up on. So, boo work. Need to uh, pack up all my stuff, and then uh, my car's just parked down there on the road. Head to the nearest town and try and find somewhere to work. What a great spot. There's my car. Looks like there's a few other people parked here now. Last night it was literally just me. <sighs> Work bag goes in the front. Camping stuff goes in the back. Bit dodge. Probably get to work now. Yeah. Morning. Don't you sleep just at the Sorry? Don't you sleep Yeah. Yeah, it's great, yeah, yeah. I just been at the top. Oh nice. Mm. Is it quite a long walk? How far is it up the top? Uh, I left um I left at ten to seven. Okay. Did you you must have walked straight past? Like where I was sleeping then? Yeah yeah, yeah. I just walked walk around you. Oh right. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> people shouldn't complain about that. Yeah. As long yeah. as you're not left no mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I always always completely yeah. You know, tidy up and all that sort of stuff. So. Mm. so today is quite an exciting day. I'm meeting up with my friend Lizzie and my friend Simon, and we're gonna do the world's fastest and Europe's longest zip wire. So presumably, because it's quite a popular thing, you have to book like a time slot to do it in. And so my time slot is like at two o'clock. So that gives me five hours. 
try and get a whole bunch of work done. Look at this. That is stunning. North Wales. Okay, I just found this uh, little chef and I've uh, got 4G here, so it's perfect. Breakfast. Solid work session. So now, I'm just heading over to the zip wire place and hopefully meet my friends. Okay, so I just got here. I think it's gonna be really fun. Hey guys. How's it going, you alright? Yeah, good. It's good to see you. And you? Lizzie? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? There it is. There it is. <laughs> How are you feeling about this thing? I'm very excited. Yeah. Very excited. Ah, Me too. That must be making an absolute fortune. <laughs> <laughs> all right, got all the gear. Unfortunately, I can't bring my camera set up. I was hoping to like hold it out in front of me like that, but they're not going to let me. But I can attach it, attach my camera to uh, to this helmet. So I'll do that instead. Now, the maximum speed achieved in this wire is 120 miles an hour. You'll be overlooking the beautiful Kenevi range of hills and that encompasses Garnet Llewellyn, Garnet David, and slightly further on will be the very famous peak of Trevon which gained its notoriety when it was used as the training ground for conquest of Everest. Right guys, we're going to get you up to the top, get you brief, get you down the wire, and then you can all disappear off to the boozer. That's where we're going to. From there. All the way down there. It was great. It was quite fast, but didn't feel that fast. <laughs> oh, you guys got the whole seat. Yeah. How? Oh, I didn't get this whole seat. I was just wearing this. How was it? Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything you hoped it would be. Yeah. It was a great view. Go so we're going for another adventure. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just following Simon right now. There he is, up ahead. Look at that. So beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Seem to have stopped. Man, everything does look better in this camera. Everything looks nicer, but the effort isn't worth it. Oh, look at this sheep. What are you gonna do? Super cool. What was the better adrenaline rush? Was it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is way more scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got nets. Here doesn't have nets. <laughs> no oh. nets equals more fun. <laughs> <laughs> but also more risk of death. Right. It is interesting though, isn't it? Like how if you eliminate the danger, sometimes you eliminate the fun. Right, All right. Hit, that, hit, that. hit the road again. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> just stop for a bit of a photo stop. It's Mount Snowden. The mountain that I'm yet to climb. So after a photo stop and then a skateboard session and then another photo stop. We are finally heading down to the lake. Hopefully gonna go for a nice swim. Look at this. No boats, no fishing, no jet ski, no tent. Doesn't say no hammock.
<laughs> All right, we're right in the middle of the lake. We're in the middle. Let's keep going. We made it to the other side. Now it's really, really dark. Are you feeling dizzy? A bit cold, a bit tired, a bit dizzy. All right, time to swim back across. <laughs> Slightly daunting prospect, but we'll just do it slowly but surely. Wow, that was difficult. Made it back across. I'm really like shivery. By the time we got back, I was like, I'm really glad we're back. <laughs> I don't think I could have done that much more without, you know, feeling worried about it. Ah, <sighs> amazing. Really Good nice. to see it. Really nice. Yeah. yeah come yeah, on. Let's have, a, let's have a proper hug. <laughs> Top man. Professional <laughs> man. No, it was great. You're Bye, Lizzie. So well. Yeah, it was great fun. Have see you guys later. Good Bye. 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 All right. Time. Find somewhere to sleep. suddenly feel mentally tired. I think I just need to find somewhere to sleep and head straight to bed. I'm absolutely knackered. All right, so I'm all set up now. You can see my hammock there and my tarp. It's been a really, really, really fun, but really just full on, full on day. I think that swim across the lake and back. I think it wasn't so much the distance or the actual swimming. I think it was actually the temperature. Because the water was so cold, I think that just kind of saps you of your energy way, way quicker. And obviously, you know, we've had a really full on day. I think it's only like half 10, maybe 11 o'clock at the moment, but I'm seriously ready to go to bed. I'm really, really tired. But yeah, I'm all set up now. So that's gonna happen right now. <laughs> 